In this video, I'm going to go through the procedures that I follow to parse a word. And today I'm going to choose the word regain. So let's start Get in the box here in Google. And it says, obtain possession or use of something again after losing it. Reach a place, position, thing again, get back to. It. So let's look it up in etymology online. Regain. 1540s from Middle French regainer from re again plus gagner from old French see gain. Okay, so let's start with the re. Now again, now this funny thing that I'll say here, again means the same thing as regain. But we'll get to that in a little bit. Again, negates the now time. We're going outside of what's happening right now by saying again. So RE is a particle of negation by this scenario. So let's click on RE to get some further closure. It's a word forming element meaning back to the original place, again, anew, once more, also with the sense of undoing in the 1200s. Let's double check that. RE, Latin dictionary. And there we have it. Stop, halt. RE is a particle of negation. So let's go back. So now we have that. RE means no. Now we're gonna see what gain means. That which has been acquired possessions, wealth, to gain, earn, capture, win, gain, increase, profit, <laughs> booty, prey, proto-Indo-European root, W-E-I-E, to go after, strive after, pursue, desire, noun derivatives in indicating force, Power related to let me see viral. So it's related to viral or viral. Characteristic man marked by manly force. Hero. We'll leave it at this. We'll say the gain, we know what it means. It means to acquire something. E gain for our purposes means no gain because RE we just certified as particle of negation and gain to obtain something. So let's look what a gain means. We can see A against, toward. So A is a particle of negation. Off, from, from, away from, away, off, away from, not, without. So A <laughs> is a particle of negation. Yeah. Away from, out of. So, Again, again, mean the same thing. No gain. And if we go further all the way to the end of the etymology, it means no man. Well, that is how I would parse a word. Now, I wanted to use 
regain in a contract, which I really wouldn't use the word regain. This, yeah, see right here, gain would be positive performance synonym. Gain. All of these words pretty much are no contract. I'll just say the, the no contract words. Achieve, attain, reach, recapture, reclaim, recoup, recover, retake, return to. Now you could say take hyphen back, but you could just use the word gain. Um, compass. That's interesting, I wonder what that means enclose compass oh I see they even say it themselves you know why say encompass when you could just say compass let's do that one n is make put in and then plus compass so let's look at n Word forming element meaning in, into. The sense of put in or on, cause to be, near, at, in, on, within. So it's near, it's not the thing, but it's near the thing. In. In. There's no contract. As you can see here, not, opposite of, without. So, encompass means no compass. Positive performance of that would simply be compass, as thesaurus.com tells us, compass. And compass as a synonym. Why would you use no compass when you can use compass? So compass, C-O-M, with together, which by the way, another tidbit, C-O-N means the same thing as C-O-N, together, and then pass, a step from the Proto-Indo-European P-E-T-E -E, to spread. So compass means together with the stepping or together with the spreading. So we could just go on and on and on with these things. This is how I parse words. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you value what I do, like, Subscribe, turn your notification bell on. I appreciate your support. And I hope you have a blessed day. Thank you.